everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome my name is christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences so before you go make sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and leave any comments that you have for me down below i've tried to film this video once before but honestly the footage did not turn out the way i wanted it to also since then i found even better products to include so i thought i would refilm this for you guys and finally get this out this is going to be my list of one and done eyeshadow products we're going to be covering creams powders liquids and eyeshadow sticks and i'm going to be talking you guys through all of the different ones that i love whether it be the shade the formulation or just the way that it like looks on the lids there are some that i reach for constantly without even giving it a second thought and some of these you kind of have to work with a little bit but for one reason or another i still really enjoy them as my one and done eyeshadow so if you guys are interested in seeing what i think works for my skin tone then let's get started before i start off i want to address the elephant in the room at least for me my eyeshadow is creasing and it's creasing so badly i'm not sure why because i did use an eyeshadow primer and i use this eyeshadow primer often so i'm not sure what's going on the eyeshadow that i'm wearing today i was actually going to include in this video but i went ahead and took it out because i'm just i'm just not really happy with the way that it's sitting on my lids it's beautiful and it's one eyeshadow so if you like the look of it and you have a really good eyeshadow primer that you trust maybe still pick this one up but this is is from Victoria Beckham. It is the Lid Luster in the shade Mink. It's a very, very soft shadow. I would say that this is a loose pressed powder almost. The eyeshadow primer that I use is the Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer, and this is the one that I'm going to be referencing whenever I talk about using an eyeshadow primer with upcoming products. But yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. It's a beautiful shade if you like really smoky eyes but something weird is happening here. I want to start off with cream slash pot eyeshadows because these tend to be the ones that I reach for on a daily basis. I find that they're the easiest to work with and they're also the quickest in my opinion. So starting off with one of my absolute favorites, I've talked about this one for years, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize Pot Eyeshadow in the shade Amber Gold. I've used a good amount of this, but for the amount that I've used this, I still have have so much of this product. I would say that this is more of a cream texture. It really is like sort of moussey but dries down. It has a really really long lasting power on the eyelids and if I wear it for 10 plus hours this will crease but honestly up until then it stays exactly like this on the lids and it is so beautiful. I have other shades of this but this color in particular I think is a beautiful one and done eye shadow specifically because it does have a little bit of that shimmer in it like you can see it has some sheen to it so whenever it's on the lids since we do have a lot of movement going on there it definitely looks like multiple eyeshadows on the eyelids so on the front of the eyelid it really shines through looks very bright and has a lot of that sheen and then throughout the crease it kind of gives you more of that bronzy brown tone to it and it doesn't look as shimmery so so it looks like you really took a darker eyeshadow into the creases and really it's just this product it glides on very very thin on the lids even though it is going to be that moussey cream like texture in the pot and it dries down almost instantly i don't have to use an eyeshadow primer with this which i love the less products that i have to use in a one and done eyeshadow look the better i think that this suits my skin tone throughout the entire year but especially in the summertime when i am a little bit more tan this color right here just looks like the most beautiful warm yummy type of eyeshadow and it honestly takes no effort whatsoever it is quite pricey but again i will say i've had this i want to say since 2020 and it has not dried out on me i always make sure to recap it and close it really tightly but has not dried out on me, still stays put. The formulation has stayed consistent throughout the years. I truly love it. I would highly recommend this shade in particular. The next product I talk about constantly, so I'm not gonna harp on too, too much. I do have some reels and TikToks talking about these as well as other YouTube videos, so I'll link those down below, but this is the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Ray. This one is more of a glitter topper. I'm pretty sure that's 
that's the way that Hourglass has kind of promoted this product. It is pressed a lot heavier than that Victoria Beckham one was, but it's still a loose pigment. You still have this little stopper thing to put on top of it. If you find that Urban Decay Space Cowboy is a little bit too light and too stark on your skin tone, if you have a skin tone similar to mine and you're looking for an eyeshadow that makes your eyelids just look wet, this is the product. Now, I know that you might think like, but it's glitter. Because it has a deeper champagne tone to it, I think that that's what makes it even more wearable for someone that has brown in their skin like I do. As you can see, it's definitely glittery, but it has a really strong deep champagne base to it. So I find that this is slightly deeper than Space Cowboy. Therefore, it just looks even more natural on my skin tone. If I use a deeper brown in my crease or all along my eyelids, and then I top it with this with my fingers, it looks gorgeous. I like to apply this one with my fingertips typically with these pot eyeshadows that's the way that I like to apply them and I also use an eyeshadow primer with this one I don't know why this particular shade has not gone as big as Urban Decay Space Cowboy but I truly think that it should next is another one that I have talked about and I've done a short form video on but it is from Colfi and this is the Zari Eyes in the shade Bronze Brocade this is a beautiful deep champagne and it has silver flecks in it so so unlike the Charlotte Tilbury pot eyeshadow, this one doesn't feel as creamy. It's still a cream eyeshadow, but it kind of like acts like a film almost. I don't really know how to explain it. It gives you a very, very thin amount of product here when you put your finger in there. Definitely a lot darker, a lot more bronze than gold here. It's very, very high in pigmentation. And this one almost looks metallic on the eyelids and it definitely has some strong glitter particles in there. So there you can see, and you also saw just how strong that swatched right there. Looks really metallic on the eye but it also shifts to where it's that perfect one and done eyeshadow where it looks like two maybe three different eyeshadows on the eyelids so between this one and Charlotte this definitely dries down a lot faster and it almost feels like I want to say a harder film you can still definitely feel this as it's drying down but it's not uncomfortable it just feels like you're wearing eyeshadow on the eyelids but because you only have to go in with a really thin layer I think that kind of helps with the comfortability of wearing this one I think the glue glitter as well as the sheen in this and the color just gives it so much depth and it looks so rich on the eyelids. This one I do not need an eyeshadow primer with. You can go in with just this and it'll dry down super super quickly and you're good to go. It has a really long wear time and this one never creases on me. The next two are the same product but different shades. These are the solo shadows from Merit and I have the shade Mid-Century and Social. I have definitely been reaching for these more often than I actually thought that I would. So they lock in place, which is nice because you'll know exactly when they're closed. Like you just kind of wait for that click. You hear that? These are more of a press cream. They're a harder cream texture here, but they are still very nice and thin whenever you apply it on the eyelids. You definitely need an eyeshadow primer with this, and even then, sometimes I find that they can still crease, especially if I'm out and it's a little bit hotter, maybe if I've been wearing it for a very long time. I don't think that I've worn these for longer than eight hours without them creasing. I kind of feel like these shades that I chose give you a really nice wash of color to where if they do crease I can just take my finger like blend it out really quickly and then it just looks brand new I really enjoy these because of the subtlety of them so this is the shade mid-century it is going to be this more medium brown shade like I said it is a cream but it gives you a really really nice thin texture on the lids whenever you blend it out so this is what it looks like first applied and you can continue to blend it until you get a really soft wash of color and as you can see it just looks super diffused
shoes, doesn't it? At first, when I got this shade, I was like, I don't know if it's even gonna show up, but it just gives me almost like a natural looking shadow on my eyelids. If you ever use bronzer as your eyeshadow, this gives you that same effect, but in like a cream form. And then Social is this very muted pale purple. And I think it's really unique because even though it's a purple and it's clearly like a grazy purple here, it still looks very natural on the eyelids. I don't know what it is about this one, but whenever I wear this, it just gives me a slight, slight amount of color, but it's almost like, what color is that? Like it almost looks like just a shadow. So I really enjoy these because they give you the most natural looking one and done eyeshadow look. I know that some people love them, some people hate them. I think if you're going for a very effortless, very natural type of eyeshadow, you don't want something that's gonna be too punchy like maybe the Colfi one or the Charlotte Tilbury one, then this is so nice and subtle. And I've also used the Hourglass Scattered Lights on top of both of these and mm, beautiful, I love them. <laughs> Moving on to my liquid eyeshadow recommendations. So when it comes to liquid eyeshadows for me, I like something that is going to apply very thin, but be very pigmented. Give me enough time to blend out, but dries down. And all of these like hit those marks exactly. I will say that liquid eyeshadows are a little more tricky to work with than cream eyeshadows because of their high pigmentation and the fact that they do dry down. And when they dry down, they're like set completely. But I think once you kind of work with it, once you get the hang of them, they're some of the easiest one and done eyeshadows that I have found. The first one I wanna talk about is from Rare Beauty. This is the liquid eyeshadow in the shade Nearly Neutral. This is a neutral shade, but it does have a little bit of pinky tones to it, which I think is really flattering on the skin tone. This is described as a warm neutral beige, actually, and it's kind of like a whipped texture when you see it on the doe foot. You can see that it holds its texture just a little bit, and when you apply it, you have a little bit of thickness to it. I like to blend this one out, actually, with a blending brush because I find that it just blends out that whip texture really, really beautifully and evenly. It gives you a ton of pigmentation, as you can see. I just need the tiniest little dot on either eye, and then it covers my whole eye perfectly. While the product is wet, it's really easy to blend out. I like to just apply it and then I'll blend it out with my brush and mainly on the edges and I'll leave as much pigmentation as I can on like the main areas of my eyelids and it looks great. And then once I put mascara on, it almost looks like a neutral eyeshadow color. You can definitely see there's more pinky brown tones in this, but once it's on the eyelids, it kind of just looks like a lighter brown shade and it's really beautiful. I love wearing this alone as a one and done eyeshadow, but I've also topped it with glitters. I've topped it with a sparkly eyeshadow and it looks gorgeous either way I wanna wear it. This one, I do not have to wear an eyeshadow primer with. However, it does start to slightly crease after 10 plus hours, but that's a pretty long time for wearing an eyeshadow. Next, we have one from Rem Beauty and this one is in the shade Heart or Less Than Three. I never know how to say that. I feel like such a millennial when I say less than three. This one is described as a matte warm brown and compared to the Rare Beauty one, this one is definitely more of a thin watery consistency through and through. Because of the more thin texture, this does dry down a lot faster. So I would recommend with this especially, well, for all of the liquid eyeshadows, but this one in particular, work one eye at a time, like blend this out onto one and then move on to the other. It is a strong pigmentation and it does dry down matte. I love this shade because it gives me a little bit of depth on the eyelids, but not enough to where it looks like a smoky brown shadow. This is beautiful whenever I want it to look like I'm wearing eyeshadow, but I still want it to be a little bit more on the natural side. I don't have to use a primer with this one either. I have a couple of different shades and I have some shimmery shades from the Rem Beauty liquid eyeshadows, but this one I just constantly reach for. It's the perfect tone and I wear this all throughout the year. Next is another liquid eyeshadow and I actually have to pop this one open because I finished my last tube, which is really impressive for me. But this is the About Face eye paint in the shade 
Fracture. I always want to say it's called Refract, but this one is in the shade Fracture. And this is mainly glitter, but because it does have a base of more of a champagne tone, it looks very dimensional on the eyelids. This one almost acts like those cream shadows where it has a lot of sheen, but it also has glitter to it in a liquid form. So this is a little bit more gritty, like you can feel the glitter whenever you're applying it. But once it's on the eyelids, it's really not terrible especially because I wear a lot less of it on my actual eyelids than this swatch and you can see here it has that strong champagne shade but lots of glitter lots of sheen to it it almost looks like that bronze brocade one except a bit lighter so if you want something less bronzy more champagne-y then this might be a really good option for you I don't have to wear an eyeshadow primer with this one either and I mainly wear this one alone I'm pretty sure and it just gives me the most beautiful wet effect on the eyelids. Moving on to some stick eyeshadows and starting off with some pretty affordable ones. I do have these from ColourPop. They sent these to me a couple months ago. I tried them out and I really, really like them. So these are their ColourPop shadow sticks. Oh my gosh, this one is completely rubbed off. I guess I've used this one so much that all of the writing on it has like come off. I need to find out what shade that is. But I have So Celestial and it's a metallic finish and I have Hoka, which is also a metallic finish. And then I have this matte shade, which I don't know what it is, but I use it so much. So this one to me is very similar to that Rare Beauty Nearly Neutral one in terms of effect, but this one does not have any pink to it. So it's more of that natural clay shade right there. And these blend out so well, they feel nice and creamy when you first apply them. So you're not like tugging on your eyelids with the shadow stick. You know? And then we have this, which again is more of a metallic and definitely a bronze tone here. And again, blends out beautifully, goes on really nice and creamy. And something I like about these shadow sticks, even though they have glitter, you can't feel the glitter at all in them. So it's not uncomfortable and they dry down really, really nicely. And then lastly, we have the shade So Celestial. I just, I really like this collection. I find that they're super wearable and this one is going to give you more of that smooth smoky look. It has a little bit of silver reflect in it while this shade has a bit of gold. You could go a couple of hours without an eyeshadow primer if you don't want to use one, but I find that to prolong the wear, eyeshadow primer does help with these, but I don't know. I don't think they're super necessary. Like they're not going to crease right away. You know what I mean? Like I've worn these to film without eyeshadow primer and they work really nicely, but I've also worn it with eyeshadow primer like to go out and stuff and it wears really well so I think you could go either way. Another option I have for you guys is from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Adventure and again it's going to be more of that copper like tone. As you guys can tell those are like my go-to one and done eyeshadow looks. They just look the most natural and I feel like they give me a lot of depth whenever I choose to do this shade. It's not as glittery as say the Kulfi one so if you want something that's more of a sheen this is a good option for you. I do find that I have to use an eyeshadow primer with these though. They can crease if you wear them alone. I think it's because the formulation is a bit more creamy. I specifically like this one, not necessarily for the formulation, but for the color. I like this because it's right in between being more of a natural look and being smoky. I could wear this during the day and I wouldn't feel like it's out of place, but I could also wear this at night and it would give me the drama that I wanted to. And another one that I don't think that too many people have really talked about, they released or re-released some shadow sticks. This is from Makeup forever in the shade 12 sunrise and this is going to be a bit lighter than the rare beauty one but it still gives you kind of like that same effect so this one is almost like an ethereal type of look because of that sheen to it like you see how it catches the light this doesn't dry down as hard as the rare beauty one and i like to wear this one with an eyeshadow primer i actually don't know if i've ever worn it without an eyeshadow primer but it blends out and it kind of like as you can see just 
this blends into my skin tone so it gives me a little bit of that wet eyeshadow look but also not as intense like I could wear this and it just looks like a really nice wash of color just a clean healthy wash of color on the eyelids it's nice and creamy it blends out really well and it gives you almost a undetectable dry down now we're moving on to powder eyeshadows well kind of powder eyeshadows i think two of these are considered creams but i have some from ColourPop and from urban decay and to talk about the ColourPop ones the super shock shadows i think they're creams but they're also powders i i don't know but this one i've had for a very very long time and i use it well no it came off <laughs> Uh, maybe it's time to get a new one. Maybe that was my sign to get a new one. Okay, heard, I guess. But this is in the shade La La. It looks like a wash of color that has a beautiful sheen to it. Like, as you can see right there. And I don't really know how to describe the ColourPop Super Shock shadows because they are so unique. But I feel like so many people have tried them that they understand. Very thin amount of product and it gives you this beautiful rosy gold finish to the eyelids it just looks so feminine but also nice and natural at the same time it catches the light beautifully there's no glitter in this it is all sheen and it's just gorgeous this is a go-to I think for me definitely doesn't make it look like you're not wearing eye any eyeshadow and it's just wet you can for sure see the color of this over the sheen also from Colourpop I had to talk about it it's in the shade Ritz and actually this one I picked up the last couple weeks everyone talks about this as being a space cowboy dupe i think it's similar but again i think it's a little bit darker than space cowboy at least for me i don't know there's something about this that makes it more wearable as a one and done eyeshadow than space cowboy is for me definitely has a lot of that silver fleck in there almost like blue toned silver but as it catches the light you can see the depth there you can see that champagne underneath it i wouldn't say that this is a one and done eyeshadow in terms of you can put this all over the eyes and it's gonna give you a lot of dimension and stuff i think that it's beautiful on its own as a slight wash of color but i have admittedly worn this with like bronzer through my crease and then i'll use this i think i did it in one of my recent videos and you guys really liked it and i really liked it so i wanted to include it in this video a very nice staple powder eyeshadow i think that's great for a one and done look is actually from sephora collection and this is in the shade choco excess 297 it's just a great deep brown without being too too smoky i think you you can use this all over the eyelids and it just looks gorgeous like it swatches pretty dark it's more of this medium tone brown that's just super wearable adds just slightly enough dimension on the eyes but still adds a little bit of glitter a little bit of glam you know and this formulation is very very thin but it still feels really nice and soft like it feels very buttery and i think that it has the perfect amount of shine in it the perfect amount of glitter to where you can still see the majority of the color shine through versus that finish you know and again whenever you turn your head and you're wearing this it just looks like you spent a lot of time on your eyeshadow but really it's just this one <laughs> and last but not least i do have two moon dust eyeshadows from urban decay and these I would consider one and done eyeshadows but they're more fun like they're more on the fun duo chrome side this is probably one of my most favorite eyeshadows ever like period this is the urban decay moon dust eyeshadow in the shade solstice this has like a blue purple shift to it with a base of brown those are my absolute favorite duo chromes guys they just look so yummy and interesting on the eyelids but i am obsessed with this finish i think it is is absolutely gorgeous when I want a little extra something like I want a one and done eyeshadow but I don't want to go in with just a brown or a copper or something like I definitely want 
a little more interest I guess when it comes to my eyeshadow, obviously because it is a duochrome, it's gonna give you a lot of dimension. You see the teal bluish frost to it, but you also see a little bit of that brown champagne and you kind of also see that purple. I love to wear this all over my eyelids, but I also love just wearing it on that inner third of the eyelid just to give a little extra dimension, a little extra something, you know, it's just so fun. And these are great because they are a very thin powder texture. They're not really, really dusty and powdery, you know? They almost act like a cream. But this is lithium, and this is going to be a brown metallic with silver glitter. You can achieve a smoky eye with this, but you can also blend it out to where it's a little more wearable, like daytime wearable, you know? So you do see a lot of that brown undertone there, but you also have that glitter, so it's going to bring you a lot of dimension to the eyelids and surprisingly for me I think these are very very wearable and I've had these forever and it looks like I've barely made a dent in them so those were all of my recommendations when it comes to one and done eyeshadows let me know if you have any of these and you enjoy wearing them as one and done eyeshadows as well or if you have any recommendations for me for more because I'm constantly looking for one and done eyeshadows because it just makes it so much easier on me and I like something that's quick and easy. If you guys enjoyed this video and if you found it helpful, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!